Interestingly enough, the Red Sox were also a potent team that year. Was this a year to break all curses? This is 2003. Somebody's long wait's going to be over. Either 1908 or 1918, it looks like the Red Sox and the Cubs are going to meet in the World Series. In Yankee Stadium, with a three-run lead in the eighth inning, I was counting the outs. It didn't help. 2003 slips away from the Red Sox when Grady Little sticks with Pedro Martinez too long and Aaron Boone hits the extra inning home run. I was in the stands. It was all too familiar. Hope drowned in a sea of cheering Yankee faces. They are waiting for him at home plate and now he dives into the scrum. But in Atlanta, the Cubs had not faltered. Swing and a miss, strike three. Cubs win. Bring on the Marlins. They beat the Braves and prepared to play the Florida Marlins for the NL title. Here comes Dusty Baker out, and the Cubs will be home for the National League Championship Series on Tuesday night. Bring on the Marlins. My experience in Chicago in 03, I, I feel like every player should have that type of experience. 03 was a magical year. There's no question about it. The Chicago Cubs were the Cinderella team in baseball this season. Maybe the feel-good story in all of baseball. They haven't won anything in 95 years. Dusty comes in, turns them from lovable losers into winners. But if there's a glass slipper and if there's a crack in it, it could be the Florida Marlins. ESP.